Curbside Electric Vehicle Charging Map Published. Subscribe to Electric Vehicle News Bite Size Podcast for free. The Association of Fleet Professionals has released a map of the UK showing fleets needing curbside charging points near the homes of company van drivers. It illustrates the need for drivers hired by industry association members to have access to curbside charging of electric vehicles. So far, the database contains 75,000 records, with maps and statistics aggregated at the city level. As companies electrify their corporate vehicles ahead of the government's 2030 deadline, the large number of drivers without off-road space to install chargers is a major hurdle to electrification. This is especially true for electric vans, whose drivers are more likely to live in townhouses or townhouse apartments and lack this type of parking space. Roadside facilities need to be installed at these locations for critical overnight charging, and new maps have been created to show county and local authorities and charging suppliers exactly where van drivers need these new chargers. The AFP study showed that nearly 4 in 10, 38.7%, households do not have on-site space to install chargers for electric vans. Overall, two-thirds, 65-70%, to of van drivers require a curbside charging station. It will be difficult to adopt electric vans until the facility is available. The goal is to provide curbside charging for all of these hired drivers within a safe 4-5 to minute walk. This is exacerbated by the fact that many public charging stations are simply not large enough to accommodate a van. In order for electric vans to be fully used in fleets, a massive expansion of common infrastructure is necessary. The map was created by Net Zero Analytics consultancy Field Dynamics. Partner Charlie Gilbert said, The data we created is based on drivers installing a typical electric van, in this case a Vauxhall Vivaro E, looking at 28 million households across 408 streets. The map shows the overall demand for driver space requirements and details areas with high and low roadside load requirements. We will continue to update the map and hope that as many interested parties as possible use it. Hollick added, we are eager to see more fleets adding their data to make the map more complete and we would love to hear from companies that can provide their driver information. This is of course anonymous and will be protected according to all relevant data regulations. Check our homepage for more information. The map was unveiled at an AFP conference focused on electric vehicles at the British Automobile Museum in Gaydon. It attracted more than 230 delegates. A summary of the map will be available from the AFP website at www.theaf.co.uk this week while a detailed version can be obtained by emailing administration at theaf.co.uk. Connected Curve has launched a new electric vehicle charging station aimed at those without a driveway. Named Chameleon, the charging station is a bollard charging station and one of the greenest and smallest dual charging solutions for public street charging on the market, the company said. Made mostly of recycled steel, The Chameleon is almost a meter tall, is wheelchair accessible and doesn't require planning permission. The charging station supports 5G, Internet of Things, IoT, and air quality sensors, follows the modular design of all connected curb charging stations, and is equipped with supporting infrastructure including key underground components. This can be installed before demand for electric vehicles increases, which connected curb said could reduce idle infrastructure and the need to dig further for maintenance. Our latest charger design, The Chameleon, is a true game-changer in the electric vehicle infrastructure market. Connected Curb CEO Chris Pateman-Jones said it was no mean feat to pack so much technology into a small post with dual sockets, and the solution is thanks to the products and innovations of the Connected Curb team. Connected Curb installed its first public roadside charging point in 2019, the same year it signed a partnership with inductive tech specialist Magma to bring wireless charging to the UK. The company aims to have 190,000 public electric vehicle charging stations on curbsides by 2030, and has agreed a series of deployments with local authorities across the UK. Please give Electric Vehicle News Bite Size Podcast a 4 or 5 star review. It would be very much appreciated. Subscribe to the Electric Vehicle News Bite Size Podcast for free on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Overcast, Deezer, Breaker, Castbox, Pocket Casts, Radio Public, Stitcher, Amazon Music, Audible, Ghana, Samsung Podcasts, Google News and the Electric Vehicle News Bite Size Alexa Skill. For more articles and episodes visit Global Electric Vehicle Sales continue to grow strongly. Subscribe to Electric Vehicle News Bite Size Podcast for free.